Hey there, it's Brad again. Today we're going to be talking about comments and how to use comments in your program. And they're very simple, but just quick run through. But we've got a program all ready to go. Let's just go through a few uh, options for comments. I'm in command mode just so you can see what's going on. It works just the same in summary mode. You got this icon up here that's comments. It's also under insert, report command, comment right there. You can also, when you're in command mode, just start typing. You can always do that. The first op type of comment we've got is operator. Operator is used when you want to tell the operator to do something. You're going to stop the program, <coughs> excuse me, for some reason. For example, when you're switching from manual mode to DCC mode, I like to warn the operator. That way it doesn't take off on them without them being ready for it. So I would just put that comment in there. Okay. When you hit execute, first thing it's going to do is pop up. DCC mode. Now I might also add in here, move probe left apart, right apart, top apart, above part, something like that. Okay. If you hit okay, it just continues in your program. Let's go back into that comment. You have a couple more options here. You could display on report. So if you wanted that to show for some reason in your report, you could, you have this um, auto continue, which if you, it's just how many seconds. So rather than having to click OK, it would just continue on. So let's just show you what that does real quick. So when I execute, now DCC mode, and it goes away, it keeps going. You can do that if you want. I've, I've done that from a time or two. All right, let's go back in here. I'm going to take that out. Next thing you've got here is this display full screen option. Which is, is kind of nice. Those, instead of having those comments so small, you can have it cover your whole screen. But the other advantage is, is once you do that, it gives you this option to import media. So you might import in a picture of your, your setup. And that way, when the operator executes the program, first thing that pops up is, boom, there's your setup. Okay. Um, let's go back into comment again. That pretty much covers comments. Have you got some options here to put in diameters, whatever you want to do. Okay. Let's talk about report. Now, report is just simply that, something that you want to show up in your report. So I'm going to come down here, and let's, let's put in a report above this dimension. Perhaps your customer has a, an inspection report, or they have an inspection plan where they have specific numbers that you need to record. Of course, you can put them in right here. You could double click in your dimension and rename that to whatever you want. Uh, or you can have it show up here in your, your report. Okay, so I click on report uh, dimension number one. If maybe you've got a balloon drawing or something like that. Now when we go to our report. You can see, let's refresh it. See how it shows up right there, dimension number one. So that's kind of what you would use for that. Or you could use this for any kind of note or something you want to separate. Maybe you've got a block of dimensions. There's a lot of things you could do with that, that dimension report. Okay, let's go back to here. Let's insert another comment. Let's go talk about document. Document is really just a note within the program that you're going to put in there. Uh, I, I don't know. You could, uh, this is not a really great example. I'm just putting a note, a simple note in here to remind myself why I did used a three by 30. Now that's probably not what you'd use it for, but um, if you're doing something maybe a little unconventional you, or you're doing some math, for a, a using an assignment, then I might put some notes in here to tell me what, I've, what I'm doing, right? Don't use that a whole lot, but you can if you'd like to, because you always have this display and report, but you'd probably just use report for that. Now, the other option you would use is, oh, let's show you what that looks like in here. So you would just see these dollar signs. 
and then that's that's kind of how you know that's just a comment and that doesn't show up anywhere it won't show up in your reports any, anywhere it's just simply that just a note okay let's 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 uh go back in here okay let's go into input now this one is is really handy so one of the things i like to use this for is you may need to measure a lot of parts and you need to serialize those parts so I would input and ask the operator to type in a serial number. Let's do that. Let's execute again. Uh, DCC mode. Okay. Next thing it types in is a serial number. Okay. Now it's going to continue on. Now what I probably should have done there is, is had that show up on the report is what I would want that to do. So now if I refresh. There it is. There's my serial number. I like to use that instead of putting the serial number here because this field isn't very, uh, isn't easily edited or it's, it's easy to edit, but it's not easy to automate to put information in there. So I will just do it there. That's one way to use a, a comment uh, input. Let's do it again. Maybe we need to enter in a, maybe you're going to be measuring a depth of a hold using a gauge pin. So you got to measure on the top of a gauge pin. So I would say uh, enter length of pin. This one I don't want to show on the report. We're just going to use that for something else. So once I execute, okay, DCC mode, okay, serial number, length of pin, it's, it's 1.25. And I would use the calipers or whatever to measure length of pin and enter that number, right? Okay. Um, the other thing you could do in there is if you're asking the operator to any inter, inter, enter any information that you need to use for something else, whether it's an assignment, um, which is most common. If you're doing any kind of flow control, maybe there's something in there that you need to type in. For example, a loop. Um, how many parts do you have? Or want to measure okay so we would execute that okay okay how many parts do you have well we've got five okay now I can use that number into my flow control and I could actually insert that into maybe a loop so it would loop the amount of times I want it to it's different things a lot of fun you can have with that comment. Um, trying to think of other instances. There's probably others, there's, but that's, that's pretty simple. Another comment you might use with flow control is this yes, no. You want to continue. I, okay, so we're going to execute the program here. Again, okay, DCC mode, okay, serial number. How many parts to have? Five. Do you want to continue? No. And then what I would do is insert some flow control in there, right? Now you could have hit cancel. Um, maybe you want to skip a section. There's a lot of things you can do with that yes, no. And again, you might want to use that into some of your flow control if you're doing an if go to or go to um, all these kind of things things here, which we'll cover in, a, in another video. All right. Let's go back to comment. Last one is readouts. Honestly, I've never, ever used that. Not even sure what, what you would do with that. I hope that video is helpful to you. Um, there's a lot of other ways you can use comments. If you've got other ways to use comments, please leave a comment. And uh, if you've got questions about this video, obviously, I'd be happy to, to add more information. Hope you're doing well. Have a great day.